With voice control, you can navigate your iPhone and iPad with just your voice, which is helpful if you have limited mobility. We'll show you how to turn on voice control, how to use gesture commands, how to use overlays, and how to pause or turn off voice control. First, let's turn on voice control. You can ask Siri to turn on voice control, or you can turn it on in settings. Just scroll down and tap accessibility. Then tap voice control and tap set up voice control at the top of the screen. Voice control requires a short download before it's ready to use. But after that, it doesn't need Wi-Fi or cellular data to work. Now you can begin navigating your iPhone with just your voice. When voice control is turned on, a blue microphone appears in the top left corner of your screen. Let's check out some basic screen navigation commands. Go home. Swipe left. Swipe right. Open notes. What can I say? This brings up a list of some of the most useful voice control commands. You can say, go back, to return to the previous screen. You can also make various adjustments in Control Center. Let's turn down the volume. Open Control Center. Turn down the volume. Perfect. To see a list of all the commands you can use, just say, show commands for a glossary in the voice control section of your iPhone settings. There are three different screen overlays you can use with voice control to make it easier to interact with on-screen elements like buttons or sliders. Depending on the app or what you're doing, one overlay may be more helpful than others. Let's say we want to take a photo. Open camera. To show the names of the buttons on screen, say, show names. For this picture, we don't need live photo on. Let's turn it off. Tap live photo. Now, let's select a spot on screen to set the camera focus. Show grid. This overlay is helpful if you want to interact with a specific point on screen. Let's focus in on grid 15. 15. 7. 5. There we go. If you don't know the name of a button, you have other options too, like number labeling. Show numbers. This adds a number to things like buttons and links that you can tap. Show numbers continuously. This will keep number labeling dimmed on screen until you speak a command. Now, let's take the photo. Tap seven. Ta-da! You can say, hide numbers when you're done. If you want to stop voice control from listening to your voice commands, you can say, go to sleep, to pause it while it runs in the background. To have it start listening again, just say, wake up. Once voice control is set up, you can also use Siri to turn it on or off. Now that you know the basics of voice control, discover what other commands you can use to navigate your devices. Swipe left. For more helpful accessibility tips, check out our playlist on the Apple Support YouTube channel or click another video to keep watching.